What's up, basketball fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today I have Stapak newest player, uh, which is Kendall Yancey. How you doing, Kendall? I'm doing good, man. Welcome to Indonesia. Yeah, <laughs> glad to be here. All right, how are you feeling, and how's your condition right now? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> It's terrible. I feel so dehydrated out here, and the humidity is really, uh, is really getting to me. So I'm trying to really adjust to it. Uh, You'll get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I will. So let's talk about college basketball first. Uh, you played at Texas University, right? Yeah. Uh, for four years. Yep. So do you have any story? Maybe because that's a big school in D1 with Kevin Durant. Uh, Miles Turner, I think LaMarcus Aldridge too, right? Yeah. Do you have any story, good story, maybe with NBA player? Uh, good story with them, yeah. Um, they come back a lot. KD always come back uh, in the summertime, and he has open gym with us, and uh, we have some pretty good runs. And uh, one time I was on Kevin Durant's team, and uh, we ended up just wiping out everybody, and, and it was just, it was literally, I was scoring, he was obviously scoring, so it felt really good with uh, Kevin Durant being there, so. Did you ever guard Kevin Durant? I did guard Kevin Durant. How was that experience? Uh, man. <laughs> did it go well? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not too well, but I, I'm never going to back down. So, yeah. So let's talk about after college. I think uh, you went to the Austin Spurs in the G League. Is that right? Yes, yes. I know you didn't get a lot of burn with the Austin Spurs, but can you just talk about the experience, you know, practicing with them and, you know, playing, I think, in the final too, right? Final of G League and you won the championship. Just talk about that experience. Well, that experience is one of the best experiences of my, my career, even though um, it was limited time. I would say it was the best experience in my basketball career simply because I got to actually sit back and learn and, and uh, really force myself to listen to uh, one of the greatest uh, franchises in sports history. So um, I was very fortunate to be there and uh, just, just, just to learn and grow as a basketball player. You know, the Spurs, it's is, is really hard to get in, into that uh, franchise because they're like professional player, high, correct, high characteristics player. So how did you uh, get that opportunity to play for the Austin Spurs? Well, one of the key things that Austin Spurs always tell us even in the local tryouts, um, they will tell you how what they're looking for is good character guys, um, good basketball, and you know something else. But along those lines, but just the simple fact that they are looking for actual good guys off the court, and um, there's just uh, they're experts for a reason. They understand that what you do off the court is going to reflect on the court. So that's why they're a winning program. So did you ever get a chance to play with the San Antonio Spurs players during that time? Um, I mean, well, some of the two-way guys would come down, you know what I mean? But I never played against, you know. So what was the biggest lessons, though, that you learned maybe during those the, that time with the Austin Spurs? Uh, one of the biggest lessons. I would say probably one of the biggest lessons that I've learned with the Austin Spurs is... Um, Man, just probably just being patient, mm -hmm. being patient and uh, just waiting your turn, waiting your turn, uh, and you're gonna get your shot one day. So now you're here in Jakarta, yeah. gonna play for Stapak Jakarta. Yeah. I know you were here watching the Sunday game, I think against Satria Muda Pertamina. But can you just talk about the transition right now? Like you coming in in the middle, or maybe not in the middle, but the season already started. Yeah. Is it is it hard for you to like adjust with the team? because it's, they already started practicing and everything? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's too hard. I would say maybe it's a little bit of a challenge or a little bit of an obstacle to go through because the guy's already in rhythm and then um, there's just me just, just come in. Um, to, so it's always kind of hard to, at first, to try to um, blend in, with, get in in the mix with the guys who have already been playing and having a feel for each other. So I'm just trying to do my part and get a feel for myself amongst the team and still be able to produce. So they got Savon Goodman also here. Did you get a chance to talk with Savon Goodman, you know, about the competition or maybe about how to, you know, uh, do good with the team, something like that? Yeah, I mean, we talk. We talk all the time, just trying to get a feel of the IBL, what's it about, what's the players are like, and uh, 
Uh, one of Savon Goodman is Savon Goodman is a great guy. He uh, tells me um, how good of a shooter these guys are. So he said, uh, don't underestimate them with that. And uh, so he's uh, he's helping me along the line. So I'm listening. So not a lot of people knows about your game. So let's talk about your game a little bit. What do you think you're gonna bring to this team? Aggressiveness, man. I just like to be aggressive. Just bring a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Really want to establish an identity of a great two-way player. Mm -hmm. um, just driving to the basket, being able to defend on the other end. Um, just being able to score inside and out, get to the free throw line, and then on defense, I just, uh, just really just be aggressive, get a lot of steals, and convert that defense into offense. So you got a game on Friday in Bali. Are you more nervous or are you more anxious? Uh, I'm more probably excited. Um, just excited to play again, first of all. Um, it's awesome to play again, first game, really in a long time in Bali. Uh, I really didn't hear much about Bali until I got out here. But it's pretty awesome. I, mean, I saw some pictures on Google and some of the players showed me pictures. And so it's pretty awesome. So yeah, make sure you go around in Bali because Bali is really beautiful. But handle your business first. Yeah. <laughs> After that, you can go walk around. And then last question. Uh, so what did Coach Gibby actually, go, uh, Coach Gitters Zibanez, ask from you for this team? Uh, one of the things Coach told me was to be that two-way player. First of all, he asked me um, what kind of identity I really want to establish. and. Uh, you know, he just helped me along the lines. He actually listened to me first and got to know me first. Um, so I appreciate him for that. And uh, and then he just told me to just, you know, be aggressive, man, and also focus on defense as well. He's really big on defense. Um, so that was pretty awesome. All right. So, Kendall, thank you for the interview. Yes, thank Good you. Good luck thank on you. Friday. Stay healthy because yeah. this is my favorite team, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully you're going to do well for us. Yeah. So good luck, and don't forget, guys, to follow Kendall Yancey on Instagram at kyancey5. All right, you guys make sure to do that. So, guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next video. Peace.